Hello and welcome back to Bicycle Legs and another edition of Review. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Porcupine Tree album Closure Continuation. Yes, this is just the regular uh, CD version. I do have a vinyl copy and the deluxe edition coming in the post, but I couldn't wait to review this and to listen to it. So I went out on release day and bought uh, the regular CD copy, which I was going to do anyway. Um, because I, as much as I love those deluxe CD versions, if you just want to listen to the album, they're a bit of a pain in the bum to actually pull the discs out of and unpack and all that. So it's, sometimes it's good to just have the regular jewel case version or what have you. Um, I've only had a few listens to this album because it's only just come out in the last sort of couple of days. So um, these are de definitely preliminary thoughts. I've listened to the album a few times. Um, I've made some notes on what I want to say about it. Um, I'll go through it track by track and then I'll give you an overall feel. But first I want to tell you kind of where I've come from with Porcupine Tree. I became a fan of the band um, with the album In Absentia. I had a, a dear friend that I used to work with who's unfortunately no longer with us who he and I used to swap CDs with each other um, and share new music or old music or whatever, just stuff we weren't familiar with. And um, one day he lent me the CD for In Absentia and I became an instant Porcupine Tree fan, went and bought as much of the catalogue as I could up to that point and have sort of bought every album since as it's come out. Um, that being said, I'm not one of these people who are hanging on desperately for Porcupine Tree to come back. Um, I welcome this album. I think it's great that they're doing a new album, but if they'd never done another new album, I would have been okay with that because I've really been enjoying Stephen Wilson's solo career. Uh, I know a lot of Porcupine Tree fans haven't, especially the last two or three albums, but I love them. Um, I, I think they're great. I love that he goes all over the musical map and doesn't just stick to what he used to do in Porcupine Tree. And I think a lot of people forget that Stephen Wilson's never exclusively done Porcupine Tree. He's always done No Man as well and his bass communion stuff. He did the IEM project for a while. He's always ventured all over the musical map. Anyway, um... But when I heard this album was coming out, I knew I was going to have to have it. And I'm glad I do, because it is a really, really good album. So it starts off with the song called Harridan, which starts off with a really funky bass riff. Uh, and then you get some slashing guitar in the chorus. Um, there's a quiet second section. This is definitely one of those sort of porcupine trees that's knotty and goes around in various different directions. Um, after the second quiet section, there's some bludgeoning riffing. Um, Gavin's drums in particular on this song are ferocious. They're great throughout the album though. Um, I love the electronics in this song. It has a definite fear of a black planet sound to it, to me. The next song is called Of The New Day. Um, starts off gently. A slower song after the frenetic opener. Um, gets crunchier after the first couple of verses. Um, it's definitely the simplest song on the album, although um, Dignity is quite a, a simple song as well. Um, it still definitely has that porcupine tree sound to it though. The third song is Rat's Return. Uh, has a sort of metallic intro into an atmospheric verse and then it switches between those sort of two moods throughout the rest of the song. It's again got that sort of uh, naughtiness to it that I think a lot of the best porcupine tree stuff does. It's got those strange sort of uh, uh, chord progressions. Um, it's a very effective song. I really like it. Um, the next song is Dignity, where you start off with a sort of Richard Barbieri atmospheric intro, and then you basically get an acoustic song. 
Um, I always like Stephen Wilson's acoustic songs. Um, the middle section of it is kind of creepy, but in a good way. Um, it gets heavier towards the end um, as well. So it's a good song. It's the first of Richard Barbieri's sort of uh, contributions to the writing process. Um, the next song is called Hard Culling. Um, the opening guitar reminds me of the Sound of Muzak from the In Absentia album. Um, not so much what he's playing, but the, the sound that he's got on his guitar for it. Um, again, quiet opening that explodes into a powerful riffing and then back again. Again, unmestakably porcupine tree in sound. The next song is called Walk the Plank. I love the electronics in this. This is definitely the what song with the most of sort of Richard Barbieri's uh, creepy in a good way, uh, sound effecty kind of electronics, which I've always really, really liked in Porcupine Tree stuff throughout their whole catalogue. This is probably the one song that I think harkens back to some of the earlier Porcupine Tree, by which I mean sort of prior to In Absentia, some of the 90s stuff. Um, it also reminds me um, of some of the more atmospheric moments on Dead Wing um, in parts as well. Now the last song is called Chimera's Wreck. I um, should say this is just the general one. I'm not going to be doing any of the bonus tracks or anything like that. So, so the last song is Chimera's Wreck. It's, uh, it has a gentle acoustic intro. The first section is very quiet. Uh, then this sort of menacing bass comes into it. The drums kick in and the tempo sort of, well, not so much the tempo, but the, the just the whole feel of the song sort of picks up in intensity. Um, there's a great middle instrumental section. Uh, there's a wonderful guitar solo from Mr. Wilson. He uses a little bit of wah-wah on it. It's really good. Then a sort of quiet atmospheric passage follows uh, and then it builds up to a really climactic ending just with some little after sort of builds to a climax and then you just get the sort of fade out of uh, Richard Barbieri's at electronics. So all in all a really good album. If you're a Porcupine Tree fan, particularly of their work from In Absentia onwards, this is definitely going to scratch your porcupine tree itch that you've probably had for the last 12 years. Um, this album definitely will not disappoint you. Um, it doesn't really break any new ground, but I don't think it really needs to. Um, it, it sounds like an excellent porcupine tree album. Um, the band mentioned in interviews that they think that their two best albums are In Absentia and Fear of a Blank Planet. And you can definitely hear that in this album, that that's the sort of thing that they were going for um, with this album. These songs are going to sound wonderful live in concert too. Let's hope and pray that they come to Australia, because I'll definitely be there. Uh, it definitely is in the tradition of, of In Absentia and Fear of a Blank Planet and a little bit Dead Wing as well. Um, occasionally I did miss Colin Edwards bass, although Stephen Wilson does a very good job. He's an excellent bass player, but he's a different bass player. So you need to be sort of, um, prepared for that. But this is definitely a worthy addition to the Porcupine Tree catalogue. If this is the last thing that they do, which it may well be, they've, they've definitely said they don't know whether this will be the last thing they do or not. It's probably going to be a while before there is another Porcupine Tree album, if at all. But if this is the last thing they do, then they're going out on a high. They're going out on a really good one. And in my humble opinion, a better going out album than The Incident was. As much as I like The Incident, I feel like they were getting a bit tired by that stage. They definitely sound refreshed on this album. So those are my thoughts on this album. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, are you happy to have Porcupine Tree back? Um, how do you feel about the album? Where do you feel it ranks in the catalogue? I will be doing a um, studio albums ranked on Porcupine Tree at some stage, but it'll probably be a little bit down the track when I 
sort of have a bit more of an idea of where this one fits for me in the whole sort of ranking. Um, please like, share and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. If you're new to the channel, please go and have a look at some of my other videos. Everything is playlisted. So if you want to look at some of my other reviews, there's playlists for that or my um, studio albums ranked shows, my in defense of, uh, my anniversary albums and so on, all in playlists. Um, so you can go and easily access anything you want to there. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, I'm at Bicycle Legs on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Instagram, I'm mostly posting the records I happen to be listening to at the time. Uh, on Twitter, I talk about anything and everything, but I am definitely trying to give that more of a music focus. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.